Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one's entitled Planet X, the front lines of the good versus evil war. Now, I've written extensively on the truth regarding Planet X and how that truth has been covered up for thousands of years. The cover-up has many layers. There is the educational system, which teaches lies and illogical explanations, and thus place in people's mind a view of the universe which is the complete opposite of how the universe really works, which then makes the understanding of what Planet X is and its effects on planet Earth extremely difficult to understand or accept. The universe creates itself from the inside out, with a star's core system continuously creating matter and giving birth to planets, whilst people are being taught that stars and planets are born as a result of matter collapsing under gravity, which is the complete opposite. But for those who are prepared to go beyond the educational indoctrination, many false theories are placed before them in order to provide confusion, such as the idea that one day a star or large planet will come through and cause a great disaster and the world will then have to restart once again. I mean, restart civilization. Well, in fact, this is partially true and yet it is still deception because the planet X core systems, the insides of destroyed planets and stars, started coming in at the flood several thousand years ago and are still coming in. They go to the sun and then do the rounds to the sun's planets because each of the sun's planets is actually a part of the sun's core system and started out inside of the body of the sun. These are the objects that are bringing apocalyptic effects to the earth, but the effects are progressively increasing. We are not going to get one event and recovery after that. It is simply going to go on getting progressively worse. And you may look at Article 788 entitled Planet X Terrifies the Leadership of Planet Earth and Article 802 entitled Planet X is Here, the Stolen Truth for more details. And you can see uh, some of these objects. These are the Planet X system stellar cores. These ones are in the Earth's atmosphere. These ones are in the Sun's corona. You can see they are surrounded in cloud. It's a cloud envelope which they have because they create this cloud envelope. They create gases. Stellar cores are matter creators and sources of gravity. You can see one here. These are depleted in energy. That's why the planets they belong to broke up, the planets and the stars, releasing the course inside them. And they're coming to the sun to absorb energy. They do it through the cloud envelope. You can see that one doing that there. And this one creating a connection there as well. That's what tornado spouts are. It's this connection here made out of cloud through which they absorb energy. But, um, and you may look at Article 785 entitled Planet X is here. What is it exactly for more details on these objects? But why is the truth regarding Planet X such a threat to the leadership of this planet? It is a threat because the truth has the power to unmask this leadership for what it is. This leadership is in a war against the true government of the universe, the creator of the universe. This deceiving government has stolen God's children and wants at every cost to keep as many as possible from turning back to their father. This leadership is the father of lies, and so everything in this world is based on lies. He weaves deception to control the human governments and to create wars in order to get what he wants. The intelligence agencies of the world, the CIA, Mossad, MI6, etc., are his hands and feet. They carry out the terrorist attacks pretending to be people from a certain country or religion. You have to be a good 
actor, a very good liar, and a master of deception to be a good spy. Because that is all it is about. It is about deception. Regime change does not happen because people of a certain country get tired of their government. I don't think that a single revolution, not even the French Revolution, was actually due to people rising up against their government. Revolutions are acts of war carried out by intelligence agency operatives. They go in and instigate certain people to join them in marches and attacks. They organize, deceive, and instigate certain susceptible parts of a country's population. But without these deception agents, no revolution would ever happen. And you can see the Arab Spring, uh, spring and you can see it says here, Together Against Injustice. But the Arab Spring, a fight against injustice or a fight against the government that was keeping the leadership of this world from ridding these countries of Christians. How many Christians were slaughtered as a result of this regime change? They were slaughtered by paid mercenaries trained by the deception agents from the CIA, Mossad, MI6, etc., pretending to be of a certain religious group and waging a holy war. In addition, the Arab Spring nations became so destabilized that the door was then opened to deceive European citizens into thinking that they had been invaded. Yes, they were invaded, but not by people of another nation or religion. They were invaded by deception agents running special operations with the aim of swaying the minds of Europeans in preparing them for Third World War and ultimately the One World Order. In other words, one leader, one God, one religion. One of those regime changes, which these deception agents run as a special operation, occurred in Mozambique when I was a little girl. And Mozambique was where I was born. And it seemed that the black people got tired of the colonial government and started attacking the white families, burning children in cars whilst their parents were made to watch. But a dear friend of my mother, and my friend as well, was working at the hospital and saw some of the people come in dressed, dressed as the hordes during the attacks and with them. But these people were white. Their faces were painted to make themselves look black. She saw some of the paint wash off their faces. These were the instigators running the operations and getting the black people to do horrible atrocities. These intelligence operatives, or should I say deception operatives, were the real culprits for what went on there. After the Second World War, there was a move to change the governments in Africa from white colonial to an independent government made up of the local people. And so this type of regime change, which I, for, I saw firsthand in Mozambique, therefore occurred all over Africa, starting in the North and Central Africa and running down toward the South. It must have kept a lot of deception agents employed for many years. So these deception agents are the ones who bomb buildings, churches, mosques, and synagogues around the world, whilst pretending to be of a certain religion. They do it in order to create feelings of hatred in the population of a certain country toward another group of people so that they can be convinced that the war is necessary. And here's a map of Africa, and most of Africa has gone through regime change, many countries, many times. And I think it started somewhere here, Sudan, Chad, Niger, Nigeria, uh, the Congo was, uh, there was huge, huge problems there. Central Africa seems to be, I think, the worst place. I think it's gone through so much of this regime change. And so the first regime change was against the white colonists, which resulted in horrible atrocities, after which um, the countries uh, sink into abject poverty and most never recovered. The people ending up free of co uh, colonialism, but in worse poverty and slavery to their own people in power in the end. It also leads to terrible wars and ethnic cleansing between different tribes. 
But there is no such thing as a real war between countries or peoples because the, wor the whole world has one leader, Lucifer. If any human government does not go along with what he wants, that government gets attacked and the country destroyed through several different means. If the instigators cannot get the population to rise up against the government or instigation doesn't work to topple it, then other ways such as economic sanctions are tried. Usually hunger gets people more open to the instigators. The countries that seem to be under attack in this way at the moment are Syria, Venezuela and Iran. The recent attacks in Sri Lanka were most likely a warning to that government. The March 11, 2011 Japanese earthquake seems to have been an attack on Japan. The 9-11 attacks in the U.S. fall under the same umbrella, carried out by deception agents. They are the true terrorists. They run the terrorist camps and train local people interested in killing for money to carry out atrocities, but without them and without the money which they pay, there would be no ISIS, Al-Qaeda, or any other terrorist organization. And you all know what it, this is, the 9-11 attacks, but there's no way that buildings like these collapse due to airplanes flying into them. The steel structures simply will not allow it. The buildings were destroyed through a controlled demolition. The charges were set by deception agents, who once again blamed terrorists. But these terrorists were either a part of the agency or another agency, or were trained by one of these agencies. But it was a good cover to start the regime change and destabilization of the Middle East. This had to be done because the father of lies needs to clear the ground for the third temple, where he will demand worship. So, what is the ultimate aim of the father of lies in creating war? He wants to create such disaster and carnage that the survivors will do anything to get peace, and that is when he will bring in the new world order, which will get him what he wants, which is the worship of all of Earth's inhabitants. And he is going to do it through the Jews this time. He is going to make sure that the third temple is built and he is going to rule the world from Jerusalem. He is going to get the whole world to accept the Noahide laws which makes the worship of Jesus, the Son of God, a punishable by death offense so that he can rid the world of Christianity. This is the reason why Israel can do no wrong at the moment. They can bomb Syria all they want. And even though Russia has promised retribution, they do absolutely nothing in response. Lucifer needs the Jews to build the temple for him. So in conclusion, Planet X has been covered up so very carefully. And this truth is so very heavily attacked because it is the front lines in the war between good and evil. It is the front line in the war between a father who loves his children and wants them back and a murderous and deceiving spirit being called Lucifer, whose name God changed to Satan, which means adversary, who is trying to deceive those same children so that they never find out the truth. And at the same time, he's using many of them as his own agents of deceit. He is using them to do his dirty work. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.